it is our responsibility in Azimio. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. As leaders, it is our responsibility in Azimio La Moja to save this country from the catastrophe. We, as Azimio La Moja, have resolved the following. One, we acknowledge Mr. Ruto's olive branch for dialogue on key issues raised by Azimio La Moja. To us, this is a positive, a positive development. Two, we agree that a balanced parliamentary process co-chaired by both sides and backed by uh, experts from outside uh, should proceed. In our view, this committee must be composed with immediate, with immediate effect, with the strict deadlines for resolving the crisis facing the country. Four, in accepting the call for the dialogue, we ask that all arrests and prosecutions related by demonstrations be stopped with immediate effect. In view of the foregoing, we stand down our demonstrations for Monday, that is tomorrow, April 3rd, 2023. Six. But in doing so, we want to emphasize that the right to assemble, to demonstrate, petition, and to speak are ironclad as provided for in our Constitution. Seven, therefore, we reserve our rights to call for demonstrations should this process not bear fruit. Should there be no meaningful engagement or response from Horn Ruto, our counter offer we resolve to resume our demonstrations after one week. We have said several times that demonstrations, picketing, processions, petitions are enshrined in our constitution and therefore they are not criminal. We have also said that we as a Zmiu have never organized criminals to vandalize businesses of innocent, hardworking Kenyans. This is the work of our distractors. Our distractors have all the times tried to show these uh, demonstrations as being violent and aimed at destroying businesses of other people. We want them to desist from doing so. And we want to underscore the point that demonstrations are a fundamental right of each and every Kenyan. Therefore, we would like to see other organizations turned out and condemn these heinous acts which have been committed by uh, the, the state. There have also been excessive use of force by the police. Police officers are meant to keep law and order. But if you find a situation where police officers are using live bullets against unarmed civilians, it is of course a, basically a reckless police force which wants to cause life which they are supposed to protect. We actually protest in the strongest terms possible about this violation of the fundamental rights of our people. We say that we are ready to embrace dialogue and that we will engage as long as Mr. Ruto and his team are ready to engage. We as Azmiu are ready because we want a peaceful resolution to the uh, differences that we are having in this country. We want to strengthen our democracy. 
We want our ele election to have meaning. That how Kenyans vote is actually what is eventually announced by the Electoral Commission. And we have also said that we do not want to see the four commissioners who had said no to be sacrificed. We want those commissioners to be reinstated uh, so that we can be able to move in as a country uh, in, in one and a united way. So we are ready, as a meal, I'm saying in conclusion, we were ready to engage. We will engage without any kind of uh, coercion in, in whatever way. And we, we, this process could start as early as tomorrow. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any question?